Hey you, AG. Hey so on this video of gold and silver deals, I'm going to be going over just the current state on whether there's any good deals. I've done a lot of shout out videos for when I found good deals on certain coins in the past and just go over if there's any good deals at the moment, good deals that I've heard and haven't used to go down and just gold and silver deals currently at this, you know, I would say simmering down hype phase at the current market time releasing this video we all know where we are we all know where prices are you know got a bit of a pullback at the moment time of releasing this video so um before we get into that if you haven't done so already and you like what you see slash here please do go ahead and like and subscribe and also let me know down below in the comments regardless of where you are on the planet so country wise any good deals that you've come across and i know i'd, I'd say now I'm hearing a few people have got back to me with bars as being very good deals that they've currently come across. But, you know, I've said this before, currently, easily in the UK or even Europe, I would say bars ain't the best option. You know, I would say bars are always going to be a fantastic option in Americas because once again, no VAT and it's the premiums you pay. In the UK, damn near anything you purchase um, that isn't gold, you're paying, a, you're paying high VAT on. And that's direct from the UK. In Europe, you're paying a lot less VAT, but and they have schemes where it can work out closest to VAT free, but you know you're not going to get that love with bars. So, you know, so in the, in the US, I know some of the great deals come with a hundred ounce and a ten ounce bars, whereas they're just not viable for someone in the UK. I know they do a lot of the Britannia bars, and I've had links for picking up quite a few, but I turned them down. Been asked about them before, just because, and for me. Um, dealer wise and even in these current times there's a lot of you know sticky fingers with dealers excuse me delivery companies and just frustration I want to be able to from where I am get to a dealer within driving distance and for me that's just a handful literally so I don't want to be shipping nothing out and the dealers that offer that access to me ain't too keen on taking in bars you know, funnily enough, even some of the pant bars, they want whatever they're going to be able to put on their shelves and liquidate or get rid of or turn around as quick as possible. And as lovely as they are, I would have loved one of the 100 ounce Britannia bars. So the Lady Britannia, done by the Royal Mint, but they really produce those for the American market or the markets outside of the UK. So it's it's not good, but I do love them. I do really like them. They're up there with the Geiger bars that I like and the Pamp bars, the Lady Fortuna bars, but it's been a big reason. But if you can find any good deals on those and let anybody know down below in the comments. So just talking on deals in general, you know, looking at this piece here, I remember when I got this piece and just the scarcity of deals and also where prices have gone. Uh, when these first came out, I picked up a load of these, got some in the background there. And, you know, I was down there picking these up for £30 sterling and just seeing where they are right now in terms of appreciation. And I do know they're fractional pieces, so you're always going to be paying that higher premium. But for me, when we're talking fractional, and this is also going to roll on to the next point that I'm saying, I think paying that little edge more for certain fractional pieces and even in, I would say, gold in this instance, uh, you know, if they'd done fractional silver, I wouldn't have been a player. Just the brand can also go a long way, you know, because I've been asked uh, a few times now about the fractional gold piece that I'm currently about. And this piece is smaller than the piece I just showed. And this is going to be a, a 0.5, so 0 0.5, so half of a gram. So this is half of the size of the piece that I just showed. And, you know, I'd say the most popular pieces right now are carded or even from the Perth Mint. So that could go a long way. But from when we're talking deals, I haven't seen them at the best of deals. You know, I'd say they're rather pricey right now. Dealers aren't, you know, I'd say a lot of dealers are taking absolute advantage of the current spot price, but they're so they're supposed to. You know, when they're down, they can slap on premiums, but they're it's a 50-50, you know. As mentioned, I've had a few comments and, you know, questions about the Perth Mint 007 pieces, and I think there's a few other popular, you know, 0 0.5 gram gold pieces out there, and for a lot of people getting into it, but... A lot of these pieces, they don't have the brand or the series or even the heritage to get them past that level to sell on for a premium. You could be really getting yourself into a spot of bother when you're getting into buying that fractional gold. I understand the UK, there was also a dealer on a, t I'm not sure it was a TV advert, but it was a dealer. I can't remember the dealer, but they were doing like a World War commemorative um, fractional piece. And it was a good deal. 
in terms of spot wise it wasn't such a large premium over spot but the, the problem there was i didn't believe the brand was good enough so I, I, was it harrington and brian i think please let me correct me down below in the comments it was more uk centered and good deal on a gold fractional piece but the thing you need to take into consideration there is when it comes time to sell if you if you're going to contact the dealer and you're not going to offer them something like you know uh, a chinese panda which is popular although disliked by few it's got a love-hate relationship if you can't offer them a fractional gold piece like a chinese panda which they can sell at time of releasing this video for damn near double triple what i paid for it or an elephant you know uh wildlife elephant coin you're going to limit and you're going to get absolute fraction you're going to get absolute spot or below spot for that if they do take the piece so take that into consideration i'm more inclined to purchase something that's got more of a heritage and a name behind it i'm purchasing fractional pieces i have been purchasing as you've seen before we got the mega jump up in spot price this was one of the fractional pieces that i purchased i've done a video on these when i did pick them up and even as of recent um one of the deals that i've come across or one of the ways of finding best deals has been in purchasing high premium on the secondary market i do have a few feelers and eyes out there looking for when these pieces do pop up so here's another fractional piece that i purchased and what i'm finding is you'll always find someone referring to ebay here that you can have the same piece up a lot of people may have it and either that person that comes to sell it for a decent price doesn't want to be caught in the you know the looming or bundle or rest of the people technically overpricing the piece because it's a popular piece and just want to sell it so you can grab yourself somewhat of a bargain but it does take a lot of legwork if you're the one doing that and looking at it. i know there's bells and whistles you can sell on ebay but you can pick yourself up a deal um i damn near got this at half the price that a lot of the other ebay sellers wanted for this and once again it's a popular piece so you can approach a deal or come into resell and you know should things tank or even go up you can up your price a little i know we flipped a little fast there or even just lower your price a little but there's always going to be great deals to be had um finding on ebay currently a lot of the dealers that i frequent because of the demanding times they're not having such large deals as they would have had once upon a time so you've got to go down other avenues and rightfully so you know a lot of the dealers had a three week two week or we'll let you know when we're back in business sign up because of the frenzy that first kicked in so if you're locking in or trying to acquire some pieces now you really do need to just play the game or just find other avenues and what i've seen with that and i will give a few details on the best deals or ways approaches to secure some of these deals right now and this is i believe a 120th ounce so once again it's a i believe a very popular design um but you know it's a fractional piece so i'm still purchasing a lot of people ask my purchasing would i purchase i think purchasing now looking for deals if you are looking for deals you just have to be a lot smarter in your buys you know i'm purchasing high premium as we can see right here but this is a high premium piece that sells for a lot more than was purchased or was able to secure the piece and i did give a little commission for the gentleman helping me acquire this piece but even still then it was way below i believe like 170 pounds and a lot of the other dealers that have had this coin up for months um, are way over £250 sterling upwards. So it's just another one of those coins, something I desire whenever it pops up and I like. And so it goes to show, this is what I'm doing, finding the best deals now. Now we'll give a few tips and hints as to, you know, what I think are the best approaches when you're trying to secure or lock in the best deals in these trying times so getting back to a lot of the other coins that i've done you know heads up or shouts on in the past uh the queen's bees coins currently there's there's no good deal to be had on these they're blazing hot uh, if you're going to find a good deal it's going to be on a secondary market seller and uh, once again i'll touch upon some of the best options there but from dealers they don't need to be doing great deals on these you know they're they're, they're very hot coins and you know you're gonna have to pay whatever the price or people are asking it makes you look back now and think if only you know that's what we're all doing kicking ourselves thinking if i would have known the hype would have been this crazy or even just acquiring pieces i would have and i've said this on many other videos i would have secured as many as possible at the time but coulda shoulda woulda you know everybody locked in and got the best that they could have done at the time but the queen's beast you're not finding nothing spectacular and i'm referring to a lot of the gold pieces here 
for the fractional pieces, I would say if you're going to do it once again, either go for, you know, some controversial pieces, some stunning pieces, some pieces that have a good background behind them or a good brand behind them, because if you're going to purchase something that's been on a TV advert or something, you know, come resale time, you're going to want um, spot to really take a big jump up. Yes, if you're just filling your boots and technically getting generic gold, it's a good buy. For a lot of the silver, you know, the AG out there, there's once again not been that much fantastic deals. From what I have seen, and once again, let me know down below in the comments, even if it's bars, uh, it's high premium once again. So there seems to be a bit of a theme here. I think a lot of the dealers, but the catch that I've also seen when we're talking high premium pieces is that because prices are so yanked up, the prices that they're offering is barely breaking even to inflated prices because spot price is technically high and then and then they're slapping on well, let's just call it the frenzy fee and then the premium and then the you know covid fee when you're seeing a percentage sign either it's 10 percent knocked off or whatever it's 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 not really working out the best deal you know a deal is a deal you know uh some of these coins because they're being grossly overinflated, when you slap on a percentage sign beside them it doesn't work out i'm seeing that with a lot of dealers you know, it's like, hey, if anything, these were hard to come across. We now have them and here's a deal and they'll slap on a minimum purchase or minimum spend limit. I don't think that's appropriate. A good deal is something you see, I believe, some of a lot of these and you get it for a great price. The time when a lot of these were purchased were good deal times. I think the good deal times have now somewhat disappeared because I wouldn't say it's people clawing because we've simmered down now, but... Dealers don't need to be slapping the sell sign on a lot of their goods right now. But what I have seen is high premium wise in terms of silver, nothing really on the standard bullion. The standard bullion is still way up there. You know, a dealer recently told me they had to physically purchase bullion at around £28 sterling. So, you know, they had to sell it upwards of £35 upwards plus fat. And it, it was what it was. So when dealers are paying those prices, you're going to be paying those prices. Um, the best deals I've seen have been in the high premium. Some of the brands were the Rwandan Nautical. So I believe they brought out, when they've recently came back out, the Rwandan boys have decided to do somewhat of a Germania and add a antique um, lineup to, um, to their roster. So I think they have the two ounce antique high relief and the one ounce. Once again, just glimpsing the deal I saw that with, it wasn't nothing spectacular. So, you know, it was grossly overpriced and it barely broke into the standard prices or way above what it would normally be. And then the next would be from the South African Mint. Once again, I believed the big five. I always called those coins going on sale. So a lot of the silver coins, if you want to call them a deal, once again, uh, is what I saw. But that's the best deals I saw in terms of um, silver. But wrapping this one up, from what I've been told from a few people I've been in contact and the people that have contacted me, the best deals and the best places that they've found them are going to be these avenues here, including myself, I'll drop down. Some of the best places to find good deals and somewhat trust, I would say right now is going to be forums. You know, definitely head on down to the Silver Forum. Um, I'm not down there as active as I'd like to be, but I will be in the coming days. But, you know, the link's down below in my description. You can find some great deals in the sold or selling section down there a lot of people told me they found some good deals a lot of people have told me they've sold there it's a lot less daunting than ebay because we know ebay can be a, a mind filmed on any day um next would be my tips here um, also checking out ebay but a lot of the times i don't know how it works worldwide but in the uk they do um no selling fees so that's when some um, sellers are going to be more inclined to put pieces up and not over inflate the prices and they have a time limit, I believe it's 30 days. So you may be able to catch yourself the best bargain then when you have a no selling fee. So that could also be a fantastic time to purchase. Once again, high premium seems to be the name of the game because standard bullion's been overinflated. High premium standard comes in at a higher price, but sometimes they may actually lower the price or keep the price as is, which makes it look a lot, a lot more attractive at the time. Some of these standard bullion Queen's Bees coins though, from, and I did mention last time, the griffin mistakenly but you know even the most recent one is selling at the prices that the lion the griffin and the dragon are the first three and pound sterling you're looking at two thousand pound plus but then you're still seeing if you if you can find 
the Griffin and the Lion will be selling at damn near 2,300, 2,400. So that's just because of the popularity of the coin. But you know, if you head on down there when fees, one pound fees or no fees for sellers, it's best time to get down there. If you're just a buyer, you may not know when that is. So if you have a friend that has an eBay account, maybe they can give you some type of a heads up there. And then once again, to rhyme this one off, the best deals that I've found, deals that I've found has been looking into high premium pieces. I do have a few more pieces coming in that I'll be displaying in the coming days. A lot of the high premium right now, um, there's good deals to be found there, especially if there's pieces that you once upon a time wanted. But I say be very cautious on what you pick up because if you pick up wrong or if you just pick up any old piece, it'll be equivalent of picking up a standard bullion piece when you want to sell it on for a profit. So you're going to want to know that you're getting the right pieces at the right time. At the time, I didn't even know these would be worth picking up you know or worth holding on to the day was on the chopping block at one point i just never got around to getting them out should i say liquidating them but you know holding on to them has been a, a good play because they're, they're highly desirable now even though a lot of people dislike the chinese panda it's um, when you're looking at some of the gold ones especially some of the first i'm not i, don't, I believe these had a mintage around six hundred thousand from a million who knows but they, they are doing fantastic in terms of resale so i would say if you're going to pick up high premium you know buy what you like if that's the case and you can find it at a great price but there's a lot of good deals to be found there so that's going to be gold and silver deals for right now you know just from what i've seen what i've put out there in the past um sizes and my thoughts and opinions but once again let anybody and everybody know down below in the comments if you've come across any deals and the best deals right now so i'm going to wrap this one up guys so if you haven't done so already please do like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the rebound